How's it going guys? My name is Tavares and today we're gonna finish this Lexus or die trying or just finish it in another episode, whichever works. So this episode starts off with a bit of an apology. I cheated on you. I did some work off camera and I am very sorry, but it's just to keep things moving along. And uh, the first thing you will notice is something that I didn't mention in my last episode is these wheels. These wheels I got really, really cheap. They're about a hundred bucks. They are GS430 Lexus wheels. So they are OEM Lexus, but they are 17 inches rather than the 16s that were on here. Uh, now, in order to get them to fit our big four piston LS400 caliper, uh, I did have to space them out a little bit. I used a 15 millimeter hub centric spacer. Now, what that does, that brings out the wheel slightly, but there still is plenty of room between the wheel and the fender. So there's no rubbing and uh, no issues there. So on top of these awesome 17 inch wheels that I got for cheap, I got these tires for cheap as well. And they are actually not cheap tires. Brand new, these tires would run around 150 a piece. So these I got used with about 85 to 90% life left on them. I got them locally and uh, paid around 250 bucks. So they are very good. They are uh, 235, 45, 17 Continental Conti Pro Contact. They are really good at grip and in the rain and all the stuff that this car will need uh, to be a daily driver or maybe a uh, something more enthusiast focused, but these tires are really good. And they're way better than the dry rotted crap that was on there before. Uh, but not only did I do this on the front, but I finished off the look in the rear. Now, these aren't any big brake upgrade, but they are just some OEM size rotors. They're drilled and slotted to match the front and uh, I got new pads and I also painted the rear calipers. So everything here matches and there's no rust to speak of. It all looks really, really good. But that's not the only part I didn't show you guys. My treachery apparently knows no bounds because if we go underneath the car, you'll see that that rusty subframe that used to be here in two pieces is now replaced by a very solid subframe and that has all the bolts torqued to spec. Uh, everything here has been cleaned up as far as rust and uh, I got new cam bolts because the old ones I had to cut out and uh, they were of no use to me. But everything here, all the alignment specs are set and uh, it looks pretty good. However, the same cannot be said for the rear of the car. Now the rear is just full of rust, but I've done a little bit of work here too. So I took my wire wheel attachment on my drill and I went nuts on the back end of this car. So what that means is all the loose dust, uh, all the dust, it's not, we don't have a dusty car, we have a rusty car. All the loose rust that used to be on the differential and uh, all the structural components, that is now off. And I gave everything here a once over with rust preventative spray. And what that does is that neutralize the rust and it turns it this black color. And what that black color means is that we can now paint over it, which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be literally painting the rust away by putting on a very good coating uh, on the differential and some other structural components to make sure that this rust or what's left of it never rears its ugly head again. And before you face any automotive adversary, whether it be a stuck bolt or really, really bad rust like this, you need to tell it that you are not afraid. So what better way to tell it than with this Wrench Everyday shirt? These shirts are made with the express purpose of getting it dirty. And I wanna see you guys get your shirts dirty. So send me pictures of your Wrench Everyday shirts with grease and muck and grime and all that stuff. I wanna see it and I will put it in my videos. 100% of the proceeds from the shirt will go directly to my project. So uh, if you wanna buy a shirt, if you like the shirt, then, uh, then that's great and uh, it goes towards this, towards uh, your content. And uh, link will be in the description below. They come in all shapes and sizes, so as an added bonus, if you buy one long enough, you don't have to wear any pants. So in order to do a rust repair of this magnitude, you guys need two things. Well, actually a few more than two things, but two main things. One is a rust neutralizer. And uh, I happen to have that right here. This is Loctite Extend Rust Neutralizer. And what this does is you spray it on to any clean surface. Like uh, you need a surface that doesn't have any nasty rusty pits, uh, that doesn't have any flakes. And uh, you wanna make sure that you give it a good once over with the wire brush to make sure that uh, it won't flake off when you put the neutralizer on there. So this 
With a few coats, it turns everything into this nice black metal. And that black metal means that we can put on this. This is POR15. This is the good stuff. Let's see if we can, uh, there we go. POR15. POR stands for paint over rust. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. This stuff is actually pretty expensive. It's like a quart and it costs 50 bucks. But this is the best thing on the market that will neutralize and eliminate rust because what it does, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I probably am, but this creates a airtight seal. It creates a, a rust-free barrier so no more rust can get through. And this is basically like a blast proof uh, containment field. It is very, very tough. If you look up other channels where they use this stuff, this stuff gets hard quick. Pretty sure I could think of lots of jokes with black things getting hard, but we're not gonna go that route because we are family friendly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this tape and I'm gonna tape down right on the middle of the differential so you guys can see the real time results. And I'm gonna paint one side and leave the other side exposed so you guys can see the uh, before and after. So before we slather on this POR15, we're gonna need a few things. One is this cheap foam brush. Now you can get these at your local hardware store for like 35 cents each. And uh, we're gonna need a few. We're gonna need a few in different sizes because we wanna get in all the nooks and crannies of that rusty mess up there. Number two is this respirator because you don't wanna be breathing in any of those toxic chemicals and they are very, very toxic. You wanna have an open environment ideally, but if you can't do that, use a respirator. Use a respirator in any case because you don't want those chemicals getting in contact with your lungs at any point. So I am gonna be opening up my garage door. I'm gonna be opening up the side door to my garage just to make sure air is flowing freely. So since I don't wanna waste the rest of my afternoon watching paint dry as I'm sure you guys don't, I'm gonna recruit a friend. And I usually don't let my friends work on my cars for me, but something tells me that this guy is trustworthy. So let's, uh, let's see how he does. All right, uh, this might take a little longer than I thought. So let's speed it up right now. Whoa. <laughs> All right, that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, that's more like it. Okay, I think he's gonna bring it home in three, two, one. Um, I'm not done. And I think you should be wearing a respirator too. Dude, I don't pay you to think. You don't pay me at all. So I got the differential and the subframe ready with POR15, at least half of it. And this looks really, really good. Obviously it doesn't look perfect, but I just wanted that extra little bit of protection between mother nature and the metal that's on here. Since I just did half of it to show you guys what the before and after looks like, I'm gonna do the entire thing and give it two or three coats uh, and leave it to dry for uh, between two and six hours. But honestly, I'm just gonna leave it overnight because I need this cured and I need this hard as a rock. So when I attack it tomorrow, then uh, we won't have any problem and we can just go on to the next step in our process. So without further ado, let's kick the shit out of some rust. Wait, I can't say shit. It's my own channel. It's my own channel, they won't let me. That looks way better. And it's not cured just yet. Uh, I waited about 45 minutes just so this wouldn't be drippy. It is a little bit tacky, but it is dry to the touch. I'm going to let this be overnight, but in the meantime, I'm gonna install the thing that was the bane of my existence since the first time I got this car delivered to me, that rusty exhaust. Well, actually, the rusty exhaust doesn't exist anymore. I'm installing a new exhaust, well, new to me, uh, one that isn't rusty and doesn't have any holes in it. So, fingers crossed, let's get that on.
All right, it is done. I have a new subframe, new exhaust, new hardware. The rear subframe has all the rust uh, taken care of, and this is looking like a more solid, solid car for me to sell on to uh, anybody that wants a pretty decent, pretty clean example. Now, it is by no means perfect. There are still some surface rust spots like here and uh, down the uh, side rails over here. It's not that bad and honestly, if it stays in the south, if it's a Florida car, it really shouldn't have any issue at all. Um, the issue originally was that it was a Connecticut car and the salt and uh, the rain and all that stuff just ate away at the bottom of this car, but uh, that's not a problem anymore. So. This car should have many, many thousands of miles ahead of it, even though it has 170,000 miles now. It will be a, uh, a pretty decently clean example. Not a top spec, not a, uh, a high price example, but a good example nonetheless. So that is it for this episode. I might still do an episode on this car uh, just to uh, put a bow on it and then wrap everything up in, uh, in a really nice package. But you guys have seen the transformation and I hope you guys like it. I will have something coming up that you guys will love, the SL55. Those episodes are coming up and I'm really, really excited to get that car up on this lift and uh, get started on that project because I'm gonna need a lot of help. If you like this video and the other videos that I do, consider subscribing, it would really help me out and uh, it'll get the word out there that I like doing this stuff and I like uh, making videos about this stuff and I like when you guys watch it. So hit that subscribe button. You can hit the uh, little bell next to the subscribe button. It's a notification button. Uh, so you guys can get notified every time I upload something. So isn't that nice? If you'd like to support me and my channel, you can buy this shirt. Link in the description below. Uh, every sale goes to my builds. So until next time, this is me telling you that, especially on cars like this, that have massive amounts of rust, but you can fix it anyway, but you get really dirty in the process, you guys need to wrench every day.